All right, everybody, here we are. I actually get light from this phone. Here's the installation on my new water heater. It burst this morning. So by law now, you gotta have a pressurized uh, expansion tank on your water system, on your water heater. So what we did is we got these new pieces here. I was able to join it with just one of those uh, shark bites couplings and it worked. You know, you could always you could always cut it if it doesn't match, if this is higher than that, you just get a flexible fitting and you loop it like that. And then you use these, uh, these fittings, the shark bite fittings, so you don't have to solder, because soldering costs money, uh, a lot more, and it's more expensive. So you'd spend about 70, 80 bucks on the tank and the torch if you don't have one, and plus the solder and all that. So that's where I did it. Then here's the expansion tank. You basically just go there to that nipple coming out of the water heater. You got a T there. You go over with the brass fitting, brass uh, 90, and you screw that water tank in there. But you got to pressurize it. On my previous video, I'm showing you how to pressurize the, video, the water tank. Now, this is a pressure tank. There's no water in it. It's just pressure. All right. It, it, you have to regulate it with your water pressure at the at the at the water regulator outside by your shutoff valve from the street coming in from to the house. So that pressure release valve, the pressure regulator is set. And mine was set at 58. And so I put this, pre I pressurized this tank. This tank comes in at, uh, from the factory at 20 pounds pressure, 20 PSI. So you have to pressurize it. I uh, look at that video previously. It'll show you what we did. All right, so I used Teflon tape. Uh, I used the uh, paste. I like the paste. Uh, everybody else is telling you to use both kinds and do all this other stuff, but I just use the paste uh, and it works really well, as you can tell. But here it is. And here's the water heater. The uh, uh, This type of water heater, this particular brand, uh, what it is, the difference in this is because it has the um, the Home Depot and the Lowe's water heaters. Their inner tank is thinner. So the tank that holds the water in here is made skinnier of uh, metal or thinner metal. And so the whole thing, the pressure, the tank, all that water inside uh, that thin metal uh, only lasts so many years. This one's a thicker metal. That's why I paid almost $1,000 for this. The other ones are not that cheap either. It's eight ninety nine plus tax, so you're still looking at about the same cost. But this is a better brand, so I'm not uh, advertising a specific brand. I just want to tell you that this particular one worked for me. It's professional. Uh, it's hooked them correctly on your vent lines. Okay, and then I just got to put in the straps on this. The way you turn on the water heater. Basically, it's on now, but uh, so what I did is you got to go in here with this, this part here, and you got to put it on pilot. And this button, this whole black thing, you can push in and hold it there for a little while until gas starts coming through the valve when you first light it. And this right here is a striker. It's it uh, basically like a flint, it, like a spark. So you push that in a few times until you see in that window in there, you turn off your light and in that window you see a little flame. You'll see the pilot light. You have to hold this in until that pilot light stays on. And the thermocouple, which is this line here, this thermocouple key holds the heat and it tells this brain what to do. And it goes all the way down and it stays, it heats up. So when that's heated up, it communicates to the brain. Right here, okay? That's how that works. We got a pan on.